Welcome back. On um, today's episode, I'll be putting on a Mac valve. A little boost solenoid, boost controller solenoid, buddy. <whistles> that uh, that Brock at Cost Performance Tuning got for me. Um, gonna put it on and show you how to do that. And then tomorrow, it's going back on the dyno, and we're gonna see what else, what what what, what can we can do with it, and uh, we'll try and. Just uh, give the tune up a bit of a tickle uh, after the whole alternatory, coily sort of breakdown ishy sort of scenario we had. So, um, yeah, and we want to, I'll put this on and see if we can get the boost to come on a bit quicker. That's what I'm doing tonight, so um, stay tuned. It's going to be sick or not, I don't know. Yeah, all right. So, I'm going to mount it somewhere, and I reckon. I'm going to put it right there. Mind me wiring. I've still got to friggin' tidy it all up and whatnot. I'm still in the process of, like, obviously hooking that up. And and uh, I need to get some conduit and, yeah, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I reckon we're going to put it right there. I don't know if you can mount them sideways, but I'm going to. Um, oh, God, look how agricultural that was. I forgot I've got to fix that. Bloody hell. Anyway, I'll deal with that. But, yeah, that's... That's where we're going, right there, like that, I reckon. Uh, look goodish, and it'll work. I'm glad AU Falcons had that hole there. Come in bloody handy for me, mate. Hey, j just while I'm here, check out the mini, mate. My uh, my dad built that back in like the 90s, uh, all from the ground up, full gal body, and yeah, all the gear. But uh, it's in for a repair. My my dad bought it, and then my granddad bought it off him, and then which was his father-in-law. And then he drove it, and he loved it. And then when he sold it, sold it to the gentleman who owns it now. He's had it for like twenty-something years, longer than I've been around anyway. And I'm uh, twenty-five. My dad used to do a lot of minis. He used to be real, riding the minis. I'll put, how's it? This is the mini he built for my mum. I'm gonna put a father in right here. Old Susie B. See that? That's my dad's mini. Does anyone remember it? He won awards. It was in uh, Hot Falls and Wild Rotaries magazine back in the day. It was great. It was bloody awesome for him. And uh, it's a massive accomplishment. But uh, yeah, does anyone remember it? Anyway, back to me, me boost pounds. Make some freaking boost, mate. We're all bloody Mac valved up, I'll show you. Alright, Mac valves buddy and wired. And now I have to plumb it. There's a long way to run it, but buddy, here's what it is I suppose. Okay, we'll tie that there somewhere all nice and pretty. And then now I need more. Now look, here's some I prepared earlier. There you go. Now I've got to change oil in it before we go uh, sending tomorrow in the on the dyno. Also, how good's Red Point again? They got me my filter and another 20 litres of oil. Good people. I like them. Thank you, Dion and. Brad. Mm. I'm not even going to tell you why that's milky like that. I'm going to let all the engine builders and race car drivers and tuners and bloody welders of my internet to tell me why that's milky. Yeah, that's your engine. Yeah. Uh, that's your head gasket, your motor stuff. Why do you even, you can't even build an engine. Why do you even put it on the track? Oh my God. <coughs> Methanol. <coughs> ah. My torch is flat. Oh, uh, hey, look what I'm doing. I'm putting on an oil filter that's not already full of oil. Look out. 
Someone call the police. Yes, yeah, so that's a tender topic. I've never heard, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I've never heard of an engine blowing up or not lasting as long as it should because someone didn't fill the oil filter up every service, every time they changed it. Perhaps on a new engine it might matter. Um, I always fill them up when, on a new engine when everything's dry. I'm sure all the bloody, the warriors of the internet will come at me for that one, but they can. <coughs> See how bad I spill this every week. Now that is way over full. But I'll show you why I overfilled it. I put about eight litres in it. See that? That everyone keeps asking me about? That is an oil accumulator. So what I like to call it is a poor man's dry sump. So that has an oil line that bolts onto where my oil filter goes. You bolt it on, then you put the oil filter on that. And that has a big fat hose that goes to it from here, all the way up to where the oil filter goes. And the purpose of it is, is you open the valve when you're about to go do a buddy burnout or whatever you might lose oil for. Um, if you do a big tip in or go around a corner hard, if you do circuit racing or whatever, the idea is if your pickup runs dry and it loses all its oil pressure, that thing has air pressure on the other side of it. So that will half fill with oil from oil pressure from the engine and the other half or whatever you decide to set it at, you put air pressure at a certain pressure in there. It's all, to work it out, it's a bit complicated. I'm not gonna explain it to you how your buddy work it, but yeah, I'm gonna open the valve and fill it up. Yeah, and then, so then eight liters, it should be right. And then I'll just adjust my oil up the front for the engine. So open it, start the motor, bloody turn it off while the motor's still running, and then uh, shut the car off, and then I'll check the oil again. And now I let off the jack. As per usual, I forgot to wrap up that episode, but um, anyway, it's done. I'm going in to get it donated now, so that'll be on the next episode. Thanks for watching and goodbye.